Hello, everyone at EC Extra. I'm here with Jakob Kauerberg. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. We're here in Malmö for the first semi final today. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, yesterday you had the first rehearsal. How was it like to be finally on the stage? It's been a while since they announced yeah. the acts. and. I mean, as you said, it finally get to be in this arena. And I mean, it's the biggest arena I've ever played in. So just imagining it being full was, mm. was great. And, the sound was perfect in my ears and there's a lot of professionals here so I'm, I'm very glad and I wish it's Saturday already actually almost yeah, yeah. you're gonna perform the song I try my best Om du tro at your skak na day yeah that's perfect R yeah yeah that's good <laughs> which means if you think I miss you yeah um, you wrote the song in a songwriting camp yeah and for example Nana is also part of the songwriters yeah how did the whole process come together for the song yeah, well, we were put together in a songwriting camp, as you said, actually very near to where I live, in the studio. And uh, I had never met the songwriters before. Mm. I knew about Nana, of course, and Isaac and Henrik was also part of the song. So we just, and I was the artist mm. in this collab. So we just started, I think Henrik started with some chords. And then Isaac, he's very fast at melodies, so he mm. came up with the melodies so fast. Yeah. Yeah. And then we together wrote the lyrics and the song was done in, in two hours, so... Wow, two hours. It kind of wrote itself, almost. Um, when you write music, do you have like a way, how do you want to write it? Like, do you have melody first, or the music, or like the text, or the topic you want to write about? I mean, it's, it's, it depends, it's different from time to time, but mostly I said the, I said the melody comes first, mm. and when you sing the melody, you're probably gonna sing one word mm. which suits the melody for some reason. Uh, maybe not in this song, but yeah. I start with melodies. Okay. Almost always. Nice. And like your performance, you have a lot of little like gimmicks, like um, the drum sticks light yeah, up yeah. and the guitar lights yeah, up. Yeah. Um, what do you like the most about your performance? Like there's a lot going on. You have, what I really like is like you have a drummer and you're a backing singer on stage, yeah. That, well, like very much. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Are there like some parts you really like about your performance? I, I mean, everything you said there, I like because mm. I, I come from playing in bands. I come from playing rock, hard rock music with mm. my friends in Allingsås, my hometown. So I wanted to have something like that on stage, and I think it it sticks out a bit on this. Yes. I mean, um, I think I'm the only one having a band mm. uh, this. Uh, this year in Melody Festival, and so I like the guitar, of course. We put a lot of work into it, or Lars did, he hired for this. And so, and the band members are great, so it's gonna be good. You knew Matthias from before? Yeah. He already took part. Did, was he giving you some advice for it, or? Well, he actually produced this song. Mm. He's not one of the songwriter, but songwriters, but he produced it. And uh, I mean, he's been in this competition, I think, four times before or three times also before. Also songwriter, like, yeah. Also songwriter, and he's great. And also Daniel, the drummer, is great. So I, I really look up to these guys, and they give me a lot of advice. So it's great to have them with me in, like, the viewing room. Mm -hmm. You get to see, I, I think you know about that, the viewing room. Yeah, after, that's after the rehearsal, we get to see it, and it's great to have them with me. We have, like, to watch the performance and see what's... Like yeah, give some input and talk to SVT about what we can do better. Yeah. You already did like casting shows before. You did in 29 Music Direct, yeah. in 2010 GP Sin, yeah. and 11 Idol. Yeah. Do you think these experience help you now? Like, I would like faint because I'm so <laughs> nervous going on stage there. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, of course they help me. Everything I did in my life, it's going to help me tomorrow. Um, and usually when I have my own gigs being on tour mm. I'm mostly nervous for two reasons it's gonna be no people showing up mm. or the like the um, technical stuff oh, is yeah. gonna fuck with me in some <laughs> way you know um, but this time I know that's not gonna happen the arena is gonna be full and it's the best sound engineers mm. in Scandinavia so it's all good I'm just I'm not nervous. I'm a, I'm getting nervous not being nervous almost really? because it's so <laughs> unusual for me to not be nervous. Yeah. So it's like totally relaxed for Saturday I and I am just 
I want it to be Saturday now. Almost. <laughs> um, do you have expectations? When you're not nervous, do you have expectations for like the show, the results? Well, the... It's like the competition. Close, yeah, the closer <laughs> we get to the competition, the more I, I want to win, you know? Or I want to make it through to the second chance. Mm. It would be good, too. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to think this is just a great opportunity to show a good song. I'm gonna release the song Saturday, mm. no matter what, because this That's is the, the last... This is me releasing a song that I love, and um, it's gonna reach a bigger audience than ever before. So, but of course, I'm a competition guy, so I want to make it through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you already have a huge song with tons of millions of plays. Yeah. It was actually a debut single, right? Yeah. Uh, I wrote Fun Fa Bra. Hmm? Damn, that's good. That, is, that even reached me in Germany. Like, oh, in did? 2015, I was like, that's amazing. Cool. <laughs> and I went like, when I announced you for as an artist, I was like, yeah. that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you've put out lots of singles. Are you also working on an album to release in the next time? Well, I've said since Femme Bra, I've said there's going to be an album out this autumn <laughs> but I never said which autumn right? oh okay <laughs> so it could be this year or next yeah, year yeah but <laughs> this time we really focused on getting an album out okay. maybe it's gonna be divided into two EPs mm. because people don't listen to album that much anymore mm. so it's better to divide it up maybe but for sure I wanna release an album I have many songs to release and it's easier, easier to go on tour if mm. you release an album as well so this year, I think, is the year. So you also go on tour? Yeah. This summer, I'm planning on touring a lot in oh, Sweden. Okay. That's the best thing I know. Getting to the people, getting out there, and playing the music. That, that's why you start with music. Because you see on television, like, I saw Kiss when I was three years old. Mm. And that changed my life. And I think still, that's the best thing I know. And you said earlier that the arena in Malmö was huge. Now, when we're going to the final, oh yeah, that's like another huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Will this like make you more excited? Like, sure. I mean, it's the national arena in Sweden, yeah. and probably the biggest, one of the biggest. And uh, I mean, I'm a huge football fan as well. I love Slatan, and he made some great goals there. So just being there performing. Not doing the bicycle kick, <laughs> yes. doing something I can do. Yeah, will be great. Where well, you're like in the same, basic backstage area that yeah, they were. Yeah, it's gonna be the <laughs> same. Yeah, it's true. Um, do you have inspiration in your daily process in creating music? Like, where do you put your inspiration or get your inspiration from? Like, some artists or things that happen yeah. in your life? Yeah, I mean it's both. Uh, I listen to a lot of music. Um, I grew up on a lot of hard rock, like 70s hard mm -hmm. rock, and a lot of pop from the 80s. My dad listened to a lot of rock, my mom listens to a lot of ABBA, of mm -hmm. course, which actually came from this <laughs> as well, <laughs> <Yes. Festivale. laughs> I actually have a t-shirt with me which says ABBA, I'm gonna have it on the oh, after party on oh Sunday. Oh nice! <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so it's a lot of music, but maybe mostly it's lyric wise yeah. it's from my life you know I try to live as much as I can mm. go on parties meet a lot of people oh. and just have a great time and you're gonna have a lot of sad times and you gotta take that with you to the songwriting mm. uh, I think you gotta live to, to, to do that will your parents be in the arena on Saturday? yeah they probably are even more nervous for all you are <laughs> <laughs> that might be true actually and my sister and my grandma and oh. my cousins so I'm very fortunate. So you have like a whole fan blog. Yeah, fan <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Like have your support. That's great. Um, for the people who will hear a song on Saturday, how would you describe it in three words? Like I heard it, we heard it, but for the people on Saturday? It's, it's a classic Swedish pop song. It's energetic, a lot of guitars. And it's my best song so far, I think. And uh, it's gonna be great it's a very good song thank you last but not least um, do you have a message for the viewers at EC Extra yeah thank you for watching and I mean it's great for me I'm, I'm doing music in Swedish mm. and that I get to do interviews in English for people around Europe I mean that's amazing so yeah 
for all listening to the Swedish music. Yeah, thanks lovely. a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for having time for us, and best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. <laughs>